that kind of brings us to our next segment here around masks and the federal government actually launching a new investigation. Let's put this up there on the screen from the Associated Press. So the Education Department has opened a civil rights investigation against five Republican-led states that bar mask mandates for schools. So those Mm -hmm. states are Iowa, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Utah. Each one of those states have issued some different type of prohibition on mask requirements. And the Office of Civil Rights within the Department of Education is claiming this could prevent some children from safely attending school. The Education Secretary, Miguel Cardona, accused the states of, quote, putting politics over the health and education of students that they took an oath to serve. This, I don't know, Crystal, it gets to what we were just talking about previously, around children, around the importance of schooling, around the fact that we know, based upon studies out of Europe, where they don't have similar masking requirements, that we don't see an overall difference in infection amongst children, and again, considering the risk profile towards children and more around this particular disease, I just think this is completely ridiculous. We pointed towards that CDC study, which required, or they point to, towards masking in schools, in which they didn't actually have sufficient control experiments Mm. around what alternatives like they do in other countries would look like. Different filtration systems, social distancing, keeping the windows open, um, all kinds of different things that you can do within schools Mm. in order to try and prevent transmission. And the fact that when you do that, you don't see an overall change in transmission. And so, Opening up the Office of Civil Rights investigation and then, you know, trying to sue these people in court and saying that there's some sort of constitutional federal mandate on wearing uh, masks in schools, I'm just very much against that. And one thing I've learned from this whole critical race theory debate is that actually localism is a good thing. It's like actually— That's what they're taking away with the uh, banning mask mandates. They're taking away the locals. I mean, I have a a different view on this because— That's a good point. First of all, let me—so the science on masking in schools, you're right, is unsettled. And the fact that— We don't know the answer of whether masking kids in schools helps at all. At this point in the pandemic is insane. I don't know why there has been more curiosity about that. I don't know why there's been not been more research into it. There was one comprehensive study um, of like 80,000 kids or something in Georgia that isolated these different variables. Okay, what are the different things? Are they social distancing? Do they have ventilation systems? Are kids masking? It was the only study where they actually tried to isolate whether or not kids were masking as one variable. And that one study found that there was not a lot of impact, okay? That doesn't mean masks don't work. It means that when you have kids and the mask is fallen down and it's all day and they're in a classroom together and they may be wearing cloth masks or the mask may not fit that well. When you have real world conditions, they may not be as effective in kids as they are in adults. However, I am gonna stand up for the conservative principle of localism in this case. It's insane these states that have banned local school districts from doing the things that they and their community think are gonna be able to keep their kids safe. So look, at this point, this is an investigation. No one is getting sued yet, although already some of these mask mandate bans are being challenged in court in places like Florida and elsewhere. But I don't have any problem with looking into this as a potential civil rights violation because, listen, if you have a school where you have a number of kids who are immunocompromised, if I was a mom and my kid had had issues like that, immune immune system compromise, yeah, I would want, for extra safety's sake, the kids around them to be Mass. So in this instance, again, I think because the science has been so unsettled, because we still have so few answers about what is actually going to keep kids the safest, and yes, the risk is relatively low, and thank God for that, but I think the best answer is to leave it up to these local school districts, and either an, I would completely oppose a national mandate that everybody wear masks, and I completely oppose these mandates that, mandates that say well, you can't take those precautions to keep kids safe in their schools. I, it's it's a very tricky one because at the same time, I don't see any investigation of California and New York and Louisiana which have requirements of mass mandates in schools, right? So like the statewide mandates that you have to do it in opposed to taking away the local ability in order to take away the mass mandate as well. That's yeah, but really nobody's in terms being of the put at risk by requiring it. I mean, but you are you are right that right. there are- you know, We just talked about costs. There are costs right? of right. having- um, kids having to wear masks all day, but they're 
they're not being put at the same health risk, like mm-hmm. direct health right. risk. Right, I'm saying in this specific back it. pattern. But, you know, if we, you know, what we just talked about in terms of the societal costs, in terms of developmental, there's already actually a lot of dispute right now around developmental problems whenever you wear masks within a school. And that's why I just think this one is very tricky. I do see all the institutionalized power coming against the places that have banned it and not in the places that have enforced it. What, you know, the American Civil Liberties Union already filing a federal lawsuit over states' policy of forbidding mask mandates in the state of South Carolina. Now you have the federal government coming in there. So yeah. look, I agree. You know, and if we lived in a perfect world, but now whenever it comes to the implementation and the battles on it, I do think it becomes tricky in terms of I don't see, you know, California, that's yeah. millions of so children. So they actually reverse right. yeah. and they aren't requiring local school districts. They're mm-hmm. letting them make their own decisions. And I think across the board, that is the right approach. So the best thing you can do is leave it up to local communities. Is your local school board going to be perfect? Is it going to be perfectly representative? No. But at least those are the people that are most in touch with the sort of risk profile of what's appropriate yeah. to that community. Because I think that's the other thing, and I saw there's actually a good New York Times piece about this recently, is part of all these fights over masking mandates and different COVID restrictions and all of this is we don't have an agreement as a society about what our actual goal is. Yes. And, you know, when you look, even when you look internationally, like Australia has decided as a nation, even as they walk back from the zero COVID policy, they're more comfortable with more restrictions than we are as a country. Israel's taken a different approach. Other countries have different ways of doing that because they have a sort of different risk profile, different goals in mind. And so I really think the best approach here is to let communities kind of decide for themselves what's appropriate for themselves, their kids, their community, what their goals are with regard to COVID and go from there. So state rules mandating masks in all schools don't support. State rules banning masks Mm -hmm. in schools I also think are completely insane. I am going to stand up very strongly for that principle of localism, conservative principle of localism that people in their local communities should be able to decide. Yeah, no, and I, I didn't know that about California. Um, and I do think that it, that is, they probably did it based upon pushback yeah. from the local level. So I, that yeah, is there generally- are conservative areas of California. Any, yeah. Yeah. People forget it as we're gonna see in the recall. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> got my eyes peeled. I think um, Gavin's all gonna people. be okay, yeah. I've decided. I don't know, I You're, think he's going down. You think he's going I down. Do. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right, just as a reminder, Reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.